Hey guys, comment of the day goes to this man right here. If you guys would like to win comment of the day, make sure you comment down below. Remember, I am replying to every single... Hey guys, I'm Mikey my back here from the video guys. Today we're going to be doing week 8 uh, team of the week predictions. Now, as you see, I am doing a face cam here. It's storming outside, so I do have my dog here with me because the fact it's storming outside. He wants to be held while I'm doing this video uh, because, again, Storm, he's scared, so I got to hold him. So sorry about that, guys, but I'm going to try my best to, again, I am doing face cam. A lot of people uh, wanted to see face cam again, so I brought it back. With that in mind, though, guys, on offense, we got Russell Wilson, who had a phenomenal game, and Deshaun Watson, who had a crazy game, too. To be honest, I think the Masters are going to be Earl Thomas, and I want to say DeAndre Hopkins. Now, obviously, Deshaun Watson had a great game at 402, four touchdowns, three interceptions. Russell Wilson had a great day at 452, four touchdowns, one interception. Matthew Stafford had a great day right there. Rushing wise, Deshaun McCoy leads at 151 and one touch. Um, Zeke Elliott could also win it at 150 and two touchdowns. The reason why I don't think we're getting Zeke card yet, guys, is I think we're going to get one in the future, and EA is waiting off to release one until the future. So, of course, 132 yards in a touch for Melvin Gordon and DeAndre Hopkins, who I think will be the master card uh, for this week for offense. Uh, he had 224 yards and one touchdown, and then Juju Smith-Minster had 193 and a touchdown. Very nice day for them. And Will Fuller, he does it again, right? He always does it. I think he's on pace right now to have 60 touchdowns. Ridiculous. Very ridiculous. Um, again, Earl Thomas did have a pick six. Uh, other than that, though, defensively, I haven't seen anything too crazy defensively. Obviously, I there's probably something I'm missing 100%, but sadly, this website does not show me all the defensive players and everything they have done. Oh, I can look off. This one is that uh, Frank Clark had two sacks. That's pretty much it. So, again, it, comment down below your defensive predictions. I'm going to go with Master Earl Thomas. Just get his higher raw, and he might be a master for that reason. Uh, because if you guys do not know, the Masters have to be like an 80 to 80, uh, 89 to 90 to 91 overall. Before I end this video, I do sound weird. I do have a pimple right underneath my tongue. That is why I sound weird. <laughs> I don't always sound like this, but I do when my tongue is all messed up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you slap that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.